William and Elizabeth were sitting at a small table in a dark and cozy music club. It was a modern place, a combination of steel and dark wood, very different from the usual decrepit jazz joint. A single candle illuminated their wine glasses as they listened to the combo on the well-lit stage and watched the figures on the dance floor. William's dark suit paired nicely with the simple black dress which hugged Elizabeth's curves, her neckline just on the naughty side of daring. He was jealous of the pendant that teased her cleavage. Her wavy hair was swept up off her neck, giving her a sophisticated look and allowing her earrings to catch the light. His fingers grazed her hand, and she smiled at the attention her eyes never leaving the stage. Will you dance with me? he whispered. She turned her lovely face to his, her smile catching the candlelight. William rose and extended his hand towards the lady. She gently took it and allowed herself to be led to the dance floor, joining three other couples. Without a word, William took her into his arms, and they moved together slowly swaying to a bluesy saxophone. As they danced, Elizabeth laid her head upon William's shoulder. William smiled as he breathed in the scent of her, a soft mix of flowers and something he couldn't quite place in her perfume. He could feel the warmth of her body through her thin dress. He ached for her, so he gave into temptation to place a light kiss behind her ear. He felt, more than heard, her chuckle of approval. She lifted her head to gaze into his face. The multicolored lights of the stage danced on her soft skin. How is it, she asked softly with a heart-stopping smile, that I always seem to be dancing with you? I don't know. I can't speak for you, but as for me, I don't want to dance with anybody else. Her eyes moved to his lips before returning to look up into his. Neither do I. Her lips parted as her arms pulled him closer. As he lowered his mouth to hers, she closed her eyes and tilted her chin. And now back to the radio gods, blared his clock radio. William groaned and pounded the pillow as he turned over. This was not his first dream about the lovely Miss Boudreaux, but this one had great potential.